Hi all! So today we are going to make mutton roast, a spicy mutton roast in the Ninja Furi. So for that you need approximately 2 kg mutton or um, lamb cut into small pieces and then some garlic which is around um, one whole garlic needs to be peeled and made ready and um, four medium sized onions and some green chilies. So let's see how to do this in the Ninja Furi. First of all, we are going to put the mutton into the Furi. This is all cut into small pieces and washed. Into this, we are going to add half tablespoon black pepper powder, half tablespoon salt, one teaspoon red chili powder. This is a very hot chili powder, so that's why I'm putting it accordingly. You can Put the one which you have according to your taste. This is one teaspoon of mixed spices or garam masala. It's a mixture of cinnamon, star anise, um, cloves, black pepper, um, cumin, coriander, everything. It's got a mixture of all that. You get to buy it in the store, so you should be able to find it in any store. And this is the secret spice to my mutton roast. This was told to me by my husband. It's a pinch or one fourth teaspoon of star anise seed powder. And uh, if you put too much, it's gonna mess up the taste because it has a very strong taste. Just put a pinch of this and trust me, this will give you a kick to your mutton roast. It's, it's the secret spice which goes in so little but adds so much um, flavor to it. Okay, now after adding all the spices, give it a gentle mix. Make sure you don't scratch the bowl because um, of the bones it can scratch. So just be careful, mix it very gently. So in this goes to the ninja furi for um, I'm going to pressure cooker this and I'm not going to add any water because I washed this meat and um, it already has some water from there and uh, it is going to release a lot of water. So I am, I am not going to add any water and this preparation is a dry roast so it is not going to have any gravy so I don't want to add any more water to it to um, because at the end I will have to dry it up and it will take much longer. So I'll just keep it the way it is, put it in the ninja furi and pressure cooker it and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so I'm going to put the pressure lid on now. And make sure the seal, um, sorry, this is on seal position. Just make sure that it's uh, on seal and then put it on the pressure mode. And I'm going to put it for 15 minutes. And hit start and I'm going to make sure that uh, after 15 minutes it's on rest position for probably another 30 minutes or so um, and then open it so we'll come back to it after a few minutes okay so meanwhile while the uh, meat is getting pressure cooked I'm going to saute the um, onions and all so for that I've got a hot pan here and I'm going to add some vegetable oil to it And into that, I'm going to add few whole spices. So I've got a bay leaf, which is um, 
broken into smaller pieces. Then I've got a star anise and a small piece of this, this star anise and some cardamom and some cloves. So all this goes into the hot oil. After the spices, in goes the chopped garlic. Saute for two minutes. And after this goes in the onions. Okay, and the uh, garlic is slightly brown. That's what you're looking for. Into this goes the chopped onions. Stir it until it's translucent and um, lightly brown. Now when you're sorting the onions, um, I usually add some salt to it. Just a bit to sprinkle, it helps to roast the onions faster. Now this is a spicy mutton, so I'm going to add some green chilies. These are seven green chilies slit into half. Stir it along with the onions and garlic and all the nice spices. Okay, so the onions are now all uh, translucent and lightly brown. And now it's the time to add a few more spices of the same spices we added. So I'm going to add um, one fourth teaspoon of red chili powder. One fourth teaspoon of star anise sea powder. One fourth teaspoon of garam masala or the mixed spices. One fourth teaspoon of black pepper powder and one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, which I didn't add to the uh, foodie, but that's okay, you can add it in the foodie as well. Now, to when you're adding these spices, you have to ensure that your flame is on a very low uh, flame so that you don't burn the spices because it has to be sauteed in a very mild way so that it just incorporates into the onions and uh, doesn't burn it. Just fry the onions until um, the oil comes out. Sorry, I didn't realize the vent was on. I'm sure your ears must be bursting. Anyway, um, so after the spices are all added, the oil starts to come out. You know, that's the good sign that the... Um, all the spices are roasted really well. So just keep an eye on that and keep stirring it in a very low flame. So it's all uh, been roasting in a low flame and uh, it looks really good. And you need to have it in this consistency because the onions are nicely caramelized, which gives it a sweet, spicy taste. Um, and uh, at this stage, I'm going to switch it off and wait for the meat to be done and add the meat to this. And uh, you need to fry this really well because um, you want the onions to be really caramelized, which gives it that sweetness um, to the spicy dish. Um, it's somehow, this is very important step. 
So just make sure you are patient and you just keep um, frying it until you see this consistency. And uh, I just heard the ninja footy beep that it's done. And uh, I'm going to wait for another few minutes, uh, 30 minutes or so. And uh, then the vent should be all, the pressure will be all gone. And I can switch it to the vent position and then add to this. Okay, so I'm going to switch it off and leave it for another few minutes until the meat is done. Okay, so this is now ready. It has been resting for 30 minutes or so. And I'm going to make sure that there is no pressure and put it on vent before I open it. And now it's on vent position. I'm safe to open it. Just make sure that always your uh, pressure is on vent position. Wow, it already looks so good. As you can see, there is so much of water which has released already. I didn't add any water and uh, that's the reason why I didn't. So there's so much water which got released from the meat on its own. So uh, now I'm going to transfer this onto the pan now and stir it all nicely. Okay, so I'm going to add the meat to it along with the all the soup and the gravy. Nice. It's amazing how much of water gets released from the meat. And we're gonna put it on high flame and get this all water dried up and mix along with the onions and the spices. It will take a while but um, be patient and let it boil. Okay, so it's still boiling and it will take another 15-20 minutes before it's completely dried up. But just be patient and keep stirring so that uh, it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and um, until it's dry. Trust me, it will taste really good. It's worth all the waiting. So let's keep on stirring. Okay, so it's almost ready and it's almost dry and uh, I would um, take this out if you're eating with um, like a bread or you know an Indian bread like roti or paratha or something like that. And uh, I would uh, make it a bit more dry for um, my taste um, and I will post a picture of that so that you don't have to wait all this while but um, this is almost ready okay so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the subscribe button and the like if you liked it and um, enjoy this mutton roast and you could garnish this with coriander leaves and serve it to your friends and family. Hope you enjoy and have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.